the uh, statistics operates at two levels. One level, you make up algorithms to estimate something. The second level, you try and figure out how accurate those algorithms are. And the uh, traditional way to do that is using mathematics. But problems have gotten very much more difficult. Data sets have gotten enormous. The questions are much more intricate. The bootstrap is a way of using computer power to answer the questions of accuracy. So somebody thinks of a very clever algorithm, but it might be very complicated and the data set might be enormous. And you just apply the bootstrap through the computer and you get its measure of accuracy. The bootstrap, the existence of the bootstrap means that people who are thinking up algorithms don't have to worry about mathematical tractability. They're going to be able to evaluate its accuracy no matter how complicated the, the algorithm is. And that's freed up the field to think of much more complicated and effective um, and realistic um, algorithms. The bootstrap is usually uh, plays a second role in any analysis. The first role is played by the algorithm, which is answering the question they're interested in. The second role is to say how accurate the answer is. So the bootstrap is hardly ever the star. It's, this, it's the best supporting actor. And the, uh, so for example, I'm work, working right now in the medical school, and I had a, uh, a uh, client who is doing uh, the abandonment of sick children in Guatemala. And they had a very complicated data set and a complicated question. I used Professor Cox's method uh, to get, get an algorithmic answer. And then I applied the bootstrap to see how accurate my answer was. And I was happy to say it was quite accurate.